A recipient created tax invoice, or an RCTI for short, is an invoice provided by a customer to the business rather than by the business to the customer because the customer is in the better position to know all the inputs and costs. To reckon accounts so the transaction cannot be recorded in just one transaction. We'll use the example of a wheat farmer who contracts a grain merchant to sell his harvest and received a payment from the merchant of the proceeds of the sale less the costs incurred. Before we start processing, check that you have the required accounts like a sales account, expense account for each of the expenses incurred, and for our example, commission, transport, storage, and importantly a dummy bank account. We'll call the RCTI clearing account. You'll also need some items like a sales item, like wheat, linked to your sales income account and discount items for the expenses, linked to the RCTI clearing account. You should also check that your received payments aren't automatically being assigned to undeposited funds. To create your RCTI, go to Customers, Enter Sales Receipts. Select the RCTI clearing account as a deposit to account. Select the customer, the date, and the sales item. Quantity, with the relevant rate, and tax code. Next, add the expense items beneath this, entering the relevant rate. But do not add tax codes to your expenses on this form. We'll do it later on another form. Save and close the sales receipt. You have now entered your recipient created tax invoice. To recognise your expenses and their GST, go to Banking and Write Checks. Select the RCTI clearing account as the bank account. The payee should be the merchant who provided you with an RCTI. Set the date to be the same as your RCTI. Make sure that amounts includes tax is ticked. On the Expenses tab, add your expenses account using the same amounts for each expense you use on the RCTI. And ensure the relevant tax code is selected for each expense. The total of this check should match the total of the expenses on your RCTI. Save and close the check. To complete the process, transfer funds from your RCTI clearing account to your normal bank account. Click Banking and Transfer Funds. Enter the date using the same date as the RCTI and check. Select the RCTI Clearing Account as the Transfer From Account and your Bank Account as the Transfer To Account. Enter the amount of the RCTI after Expenses. Save the transfer. You can now see the balance cleared from your RCTI clearing account in the chart of accounts and the amount received from the merchant in your main bank account. If you have any further questions on this process, please go to www.reckon.com forward slash support.